Hi guys, this is Liver here with another Reproof Tools video. In this one, I will be covering the exciting new feature of the next patch, the Greater Nephilim Rift. I am going to speak about what it is exactly, its general properties, how to get into these rifts, and the progression inside them, and also the rewards you can get for completing them. I will also provide some video footage from my Greater Rift adventures in the 2.1 PTR. Okay, so let's get to it. The Greater Rift is a special type of Nephilim Rift coming in patch 2.1 this Wednesday or Tuesday for the American region. The number of rifts is infinite, about 20% harder than the previous one, based around monster health and damage. Greater Rift 25 to 26 is comparable to Torment 6 difficulty. Monsters do not drop loot in Greater Rifts except for the Rift Guardian. Also, the Rift's difficulty is independent from the difficulty level of the game it was opened. By now, you're probably wondering how to get inside Rifts. Well, first you have to get a Keystone of Trials that has a chance to drop from any Torment level normal rift guardian and the drop chance is increased with each torment level. Once you have your keystone of trials, bring it to the Nephilim obelisk to begin the Nephilim trial. In the realm of trials, you will fight with increasingly difficult waves of monsters. The number of waves you clear determines which greater rift level you will start on. However, if you die, you won't receive a great you won't receive a greater rift keystone. If you finish the trial alive, then you will get a greater rift keystone, and the level of that keystone depends on how well you did in the trials. Then, bring the keystone to the Nephilim Obelisk to start a Greater Rift. The progression in Rift is fairly simple. Completing a level within 15 minutes by killing the Rift Guardian lets you continue with the next one, and if you performed really well and had a lot of remaining time, you may skip some levels. Note that you cannot change skills or gear while in a Greater Rift. Your goal is to kill a lot of mobs and elites to advance the progress bar and kill the Rift Guardian as fast as possible. The progress bar is used to track progression and time and compare them. Monsters with more health will matter more and you get progression orbs from elites and champions that you can collect to advance your progression bar. If the bar is kept at or the time is up, the guardian will appear and all other monsters will despawn. Let's talk about the most important feature of the Greater Rifts, the rewards. First of all, each Rift Guardian drops a lot of loot, it's not rare to see multiple legendaries from a single boss. Even if the timer expires, the guardian is automatically summoned and you get loot from it. The Greater Rift is the only place where you can get legendary gems. After defeating the Rift Guardian, an NPC named Urshi will spawn, from whom you can claim further rewards. If you finish the Rift successfully, you can either choose to upgrade a gem or to continue rifting. If you choose the former, your run will end and you have 3 attempts at upgrading a gem. 
the upgrade chance depends on the level of the gem and the level of the finished greater rift. If the rift is unsuccessfully finished, you only get the option to upgrade and the run will end afterward. That's it guys, if you enjoyed or found this video informative, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Bye!